fallen soldiers. What if they would have chose fear over being a hero, right? What if they would have chose the morning and happy Memorial Day? We recently made a video about, you know, the world of hospice and charting on the sand. And, you know, that was nice that day. But the reality of it is that's not every day. You know, it's days like this. It's mornings like this on a Memorial Day that, you know, hospice nurses could possibly be on their way to go and pronounce the time of death for someone's loved one, right? And so in lieu of Memorial Day, you know, I it just made me reflect while I'm on this drive of a conversation that I had with someone, you know, like very recently about fear. Daggone fear. It's not even funny how much the enemy, you know, the oppressor, wants you to believe, wants everybody to believe in some kind of fear, right? Because fear, a lot of times, is the only thing that is in the way that's literally blocking you from your greatness, right? And I just think about how many soldiers, like fallen soldiers, the people that we're thinking about today on this Memorial Day, that what if they would have chose fear over being a hero, right? What if they would have chose fear? Would they have been remembered today? Like, would they be on your list? Would they be thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, and yes, they would be remembered today, but, you know, would it be? Would it be a Memorial Day type of memory if uh, those heroes, you know, didn't stand for something, you know, didn't face their fears or put their fears behind them, realize that, you know, fear is just being afraid of something that has never happened. Never, it never happened to you. Never happened. Uh, and maybe it did at one time, you know, or, but. What I'm saying is, you know, Memorial Day is not just for soldiers, people that fought in the war. You know, there are battles that are out here being fought every single day, right? You know, the Bible says for our our battles are not between, you know, flesh and blood, but it's spiritual, you know, the spiritual battle that people go through and some people don't even know that they are going through a spiritual battle unfortunately but when you look at it everything is spiritual everything so i just hope that as we all reflect you know on this weekend or just on this day and what it really truly means to you know be remembered in such a heroic just way um it should be something that we all place value on, you know what I'm saying? And the enemy will try and try to block you from knowing who you are, knowing who you truly are. Because once you know who you are and you know what you're made of and you know who you are and you know who you are, you become unlimited. Like, you become unstoppable. Like, you become so powerful because you know who's backing you right and the devil don't want you to know who's backing you man he don't want you to be a hero he don't want you to be a soldier for the army for the kingdom of god <laughs> he doesn't want you to discover all that is packaged up for you like since day one it's just like man all these people that we're thinking about today and just appreciating a, a whole day i mean it's every day you know but a whole day has been dedicated to those that decided to stand up face fears or put them behind them or realize that those fears are not true <laughs> it's not from god like god didn't give us a spirit of fear he didn't give us a spirit of anxiety he didn't give us none of that so if somebody gave that to you, you need to give it back. That's not a gift, okay? That's something to make you uh, not see your gift that God has already give you, given you, right? So 
everything from God is good. If somebody has given you fear, somebody has given you anxiety, that don't sound too good. So that must not be from the Lord. So I say you return it to the sender. And um, y'all have a happy Memorial Day.